Hey everybody, Seth Davis for Campus Insiders. We are halfway through determining who's going to be in the Sweet 16. On Sunday, eight more teams are going to advance. Here are three games that I have my eye on. First, out in San Diego, the West Region, top-seeded Arizona will face eight-seeded Gonzaga. Now, I'll be honest, I did not think that Gonzaga could get by Oklahoma State. I was very impressed with Gonzaga's ability to shoot the basketball, and they were able to take advantage of Oklahoma State's lack of size inside. However, they are not going to have that advantage against Arizona. The Wildcats sometimes struggle a little bit to make shots in their half-court offense, but with Caleb Tarzuski and Aaron Gordon up front, they have absolute rim protectors and glass eaters, and that's going to spell bad news for Gonzaga. I like Arizona to advance. Over in the South region, taking place in St. Louis, second-seeded Kansas will take on 10th-seeded Stanford. Stanford defeated New Mexico in its first game. They played well, but I think that Kansas is going to overwhelm them a little bit defensively. That's one aspect that New Mexico could not bring to the game. Kansas, their perimeter defense is really good. I'm very concerned right now with Kansas's inability to make perimeter jump shots. Frank Mason, Nadir Tharp, Wayne Selden, those guys have made shots during the course of the season, but not over the last couple of weeks. They've relied a little bit too much on Andrew Wiggins playing hero ball, but their overall team speed and athleticism, I think, is going to be too much for Stanford to handle, and Kansas will move on to the Sweet 16. And also out in the West region, it's third-seeded Creighton against sixth-seeded Baylor. That game will take place in San Antonio, Texas. So Baylor's going to have that home court advantage, even though they are the lower-seeded team. But one thing they won't have is Dougie McBuckets, and it's going to be very interesting to see McDermott go up against that Baylor zone. They did a terrific job, Baylor did, in their second round game against Nebraska, holding Teron Petaway, the Big Ten's leading scorer, to one for seven from three-point shooting range. But as good as Petaway is, he is no Doug McDermott, and I think that McDermott on one side and Ethan Rogge on the other side of the court are going to be very effective against that Baylor zone. Creighton's got a little bit of that magic, and I think that Dougie McBuckets lives to see another day, and he and the Blue Jays will move on to the Sweet 16. So those are three picks. I've been right. I've been wrong. Whatever happens, no blaming me. Just keep it right here on CampusInsiders.com. We've got March Madness covered.